Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Hard Crime and Progress and I'm starting this episode doing Perilous Moons because I need it for a clue scroll step. Okay, that's the Eclipse Moon defeated. And that's Blue Moon defeated. And that's Blood Moon defeated as well. I got a couple combat tasks completed too. And that is the Perilous Moon's quest complete, so I can go and complete my clue now. Well, first of all, I'm actually going to open my first lunar chest here, because I never did that. And, oh, I got soft clay from there. That's not bad. Um, and there we go. That's a task as well. So the reason I needed to do that quest is to get the music from fighting the boss. So I've unlocked this step now. I've been storing up some clues for quite a while now. So I think it's time I opened some of them. I'm going to start with the hard clues here. Okay, nothing great there. Nothing great. And, oh, collection looks like Gothic Squares. Yeah, I'll take it. I've got quite a lot of beginner caskets stored up, and there's four items left for me to get, so I want the bare feet, shoulder parrot, sandwich lady hat, and the uh, Zamorak ornament kit for the rune sim. So I'm going to hopefully get them here, at least some of them. Okay, literally the first one. I got the bare feet. Awesome. Okay, a few ones later and I got the shoulder parrot. Okay, that's insane. I'm already half done. And unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to get any others. I got the, the two new ones right at the start, but then I am still missing uh, the Sandwich Lady Hat and the Zamorak Ornament Kit. But I need to do another, at least another 31 to get the 600 anyway, so maybe I'll get it in then. Here's a look at all the important drops I got. Let's, uh, let's price check them. Almost 2 mil, not bad. Alright, time for the easy clues now. Okay, I got a Bob shirt, but I think I've already got that. It's my 100th easy clue. Iron Full Helm Gilded, that's a new one. And nothing too great from those, unfortunately. Now it's time for the medium clues. Uh, Pink Boat already got that one. Adamant Plates got Gilded, that's a collection lock. Ancient Mitre, that's new. And a blue headband. Got a Master Clue. Okay, put on the tankiest gear I can to go and charge an air orb. I figured I might as well uh, actually charge an air orb while I'm doing this clue because it is a Wilderness Diary step. Not that I'm ever going to complete the diary, but hell, why not? Okay, there we go. Got the hard task done. <laughs> Finally got the casket, and that was not worth it. <laughs> Okay, time to open my last few mediums. Ah, uh, there's a collection line slot straight away, nice. And that's it. Well, it's good to be back at CG. Let's see, maybe I'll get the both on the first go. Nope. As for things I want to be doing when I'm not just doing CG, I want to start working on doing some Hunter Rumors, which is one of the fairly new things in the game. Uh, mostly for one reason, I want to get this Huntsman's Kit, because it lets you put Hunter Supplies in there, and I can save a few more bank spaces. Looks like there's a quest I've got to do first, at first light, so I'll go do that one. Okay, there we go, the quest is complete, so I should be able to do the Master Tier Hunter's Rumors. I don't see why I shouldn't just start with them, because I am 99 Hunter, so I'm going to go get one now. Okay, what's the first one I get? Okay, so it looks like I'm catching some red salamanders first. So I think the way this works is sort of similar to Slayer, but instead of there being like a set number you have to catch, I have to get like a certain item from it, which is just has a chance, and then I'm done. So uh, see how long it takes to get the first one. Okay, that was fast. That took me like six salamanders. I've got it. I'm assuming I just go back to this person and hand it in. There we go. And I get a loot sack. Okay, that's a lot of items you get there. Just a bunch of uh, junk this time from the looks of it, but... 
I think these sunkissed bones might actually be pretty decent for prior XP. Obviously, I don't need it anymore, but uh, that could be a good training method for Iron Man early. I'm going to make a small meat pouch, which I can put all this hunter meat I'm getting in. I think I can also upgrade this pouch. There we go, got a large meat pouch now. Okay, I just got another crystal armor seed. I don't need any more of these, but I guess I'll take it. I've made a hunter room a block list for pet hunting in the future. Basically, if you get a task from one of these lower tier hunters, then you won't get that same creature from the higher tier ones, and I can block out a few of them. And while I was doing that, I ended up getting a bunch of like lower tier uh, hunters loot sacks, so I'm going to open them now. Okay, I got an enhanced Quetzal Whistle Blueprint. This thing is basically just like a teleport to the Hunter's Guild, and you can also check whatever your current rumor is. And that's all of the uh, lower tier ones done. Okay, there's another Crystal Armor Seed. Okay, that is Corrupted Gauntlet kill number 400, which means I'm finally on drop rate. If I don't get it here, I am officially dry. Okay, I'm dry. <laughs> Did you look at that? I've just hit uh, 400 million XP. I barely even noticed that. I just got my first piece of the Hunter armor, so Guild Hunter headwear. That's my first one. And that's the second piece. I've got the Guild Hunter top now, too. And there is the hunter kit. That's what I originally set out on this hunter rumor grind to do. But uh, to be honest, now I might as well just go for the full armor set because I've already got half of it. If I just have a bunch of random hunter supplies, I think I should be able to put basically everything in here. If you just fill, uh, even as the hunter cape in there. I've had a look through my bank and I've basically just been putting anything in here that I don't necessarily want to get rid of. But I don't need sitting in my bank all the time. So I've cleared up a few spaces in my bank now. And there is the Guild Hunter leg, so I've only got final piece now, I've got the boots left to go. So Araxor came out recently, and while I don't intend to go for it currently, because I want to focus on CG, I do want to extend the task before I forget, so when I do Slayer again, hopefully I can get a bigger Araxor task. I should also probably get task storage, because I never actually got that originally, and I've got more than enough points, so might as well. Okay, so I'm doing a Smoke Devil Slayer task right now, and I've got a high clue in my inventory, and apparently... It says you have a sneaking suspicion that you would have received a higher clue scroll. I've never noticed that before. That must be new. Like, uh, yeah, I guess because normally you, you have that for like a pet, but I didn't know you get that for clue scrolls too. This is my third superior, this task, and uh, smoke devils have a pretty good chance of dropping the imbued heart. So actually a pretty good chance I'll get at this task. Let's see. Nope. Well, I can't do this hard clue, but I can turn this in for a master. Unfortunately, I cannot do the master though, so that was a waste. Alright, I've got some chewed bones here. There's some more. Maybe I'll get the dragon full helm, you never know. Wow, four blood runes, amazing. And two renowned potions, well, that's slightly better. Okay, I just got a dragon sword from Worms, that's a log slot, and I think there's only one item left I need from Worms. Not that I, well, I don't need any of them, but for the collection log, uh, yeah, still need dragon knives, and that's it. Add casket here for my gargoyle task. Nothing good. I know I said I wasn't going to go for a rack saw, but I did just get an araxite task, so I, I definitely could. So here's the araxal there. I'm not entirely sure the best way to get there. Uh, there is a shortcut here I can use with uh, the long ropes I just bought from this shop here. Um, so I can teleport to Darkmire, run all the way up here, across there, and get there. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the best method. I could go to Hallowed Sepulchre, but that would take Hallowed Mags for the teleport. There is a, this fairy ring, there's Ecto file, but I do at least want to make sure I've got the long rope set up, so I'm going to use this shortcut whenever I want. One problem I'm having on this account is that because it's so far ahead of my main, I have to learn how to do every boss on the hardcore itself. 
Like, I don't have an account with 92 Slayer, so I can't practice Araxor at all. It's not exactly ideal to kill bosses for the first time on a hardcore, so it might get me killed one of these days, but of course it does make it a little more interesting. That wasn't so bad. I uh, definitely need to learn the uh, final phase, but I'm going to find a guy use for this bludgeon, like a proper use, a proper boss I can use it on, because, yeah, that was a long time to grind it. And I got spider cave teleport, that's nice. And there's the second kill. Got a sub two minute kill for the first time. And I got an Araxite Venom sack, that's a collection log. There's kill number 10. Okay, I got my first elite clue scroll here. Ah, oh, there's the casket. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Okay, that's kill number 50. Oh, a new personal best. I think I've got the hang of this boss by now. It's not too difficult. Just got double dragon plate legs. That's actually a pretty good drop, to be honest. Another really clue. And five rune two-handers. That's a lot of rune two-handers. Okay, gonna get a master. Managed to get the casket. Let's see what we get. Okay. Tormented Ornament Kit. Awesome. That's actually, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> New collection looks a lot and everything. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to go put that on. So this is what the Tormented Bracelet looks like normally. It's honestly barely noticeable. You can only just kind of tell. Um, and let's add the Tormented Ornament Kit to it. And now I've got it on both hands and it looks way cooler, way more noticeable. So yeah, that's that's good. Okay, I just got an Araxite head. So I could make the Slayer Hell now if I wanted, if I unlocked it. That's cool. And there is kill number 100. Mote my fungus, let's go. I just got a new PB and my reward was some bark. Thank you, game. Another elite clue scroll. Oh, I'm going to click KBD. Oh, never mind. Did I just get nothing that drop? I didn't even know that was possible, but I don't think I got anything. Okay, there is kill number 200. Oh, I got a noxious blade. Nice, I'm exactly on 200 KC, I got Noctuous Blade, that's uh, one of the pieces of the Halberd, so I need three of them, so two other ones. Alright, so there's the Noctuous Blade, I need the Noctuous Point and the Noctuous Pommel as well, and I can craft the Halberd. It is exactly uh, one out of 200 for a piece, so that's uh, exactly on odds. Alright, and there is the final kill of the task, let's see if I get anything on this last kill. Nope. But uh, maybe I can use my Slayer Cape and get another task back to back, you never know. Do I get the back to back task? Like in the Kings, well, it's not back to back, but I will take it. <laughs> Seeing as I did get the Araxo head, I am actually going to buy the uh, Slayer helmet because I think it looks cool. Alright, so I'll disassemble my green Slayer helmet and put it back together with the uh, Araxite head. Yes, combine. There we go. I think that Slayer Helmet looks really cool, so I'm glad I got that. This is me from the future editing the video and remembering to show the loot I got from this task. I am a few kills into another task by now, but I, I didn't get anything, so it doesn't matter anyway. But uh, all in all, I'd say Araxa has some decent loot. Some good Alks and some good Herblore secondaries, but uh, nothing amazing apart from the uniques. That's really what you'd be killing this boss for. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. I wasn't even expecting to uh, be doing Araxor so soon on the account. I was going to leave it for a while and work on CG, but, you know, CG gets pretty boring. I'm glad I did this. I've got my first piece of the Noxious Blade, and the Noxious Halberd, I think, would actually be my best in slot melee weapon, because I don't have a Blade Assailed or Rapier or uh, Fang, so I think for now that would be the best, so hopefully I do get it at some point. And if you enjoyed this episode and want to see more like it, please subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.